Welcome adventurers, today we're diving into an incredible journey filled with excitement, magic and endless possibilities. I'm your host, Aria, and I am thrilled to guide you through this thrilling episode made just for our adventurous girls out there. Picture this, dear listeners, a world where dreams and adventures come alive. It's a land of enchantment where friendships are forged and courage lights the path ahead. Our story today begins in a land called Everglow, a place where anything is possible. Meet our heroines, Lily and Ava, two curious and fearless girls who live on the outskirts of magical Everglow. Lily, with her fiery red hair and sparkling green eyes, is as adventurous as they come. She's a very strong and loving girl. She grew up in a far-off place called Nikar and moved away to live with her mother because her parents had a divorce. That's how she met Ava. With her balanced imagination and knack for solving mysteries, Ava was born in Everglow. She was very good at solving mysteries and puzzles. She had a long, thick brow brown hair that always gets tangled she has one blue eye and one green eye most people say that that's weird and different but lily loved it about her together they were an unstoppable duo ready for any challenge that comes their way one day as they were exploring the woods near their village lily tripped on a rock but this wasn't just any rock it was a small cage And when Lily tripped on it, it triggered it to open. And inside was an ancient scroll. It was a map, a map that led to the legendary hidden crystal caverns, rumoured to hold magical crystals that could grant any wishes. Legend has it that if you make a wish on those crystals, it will immediately come true. The legend also stated that no one had ever found the crystal caverns except one but no one knows where this one person went. But another legend states that two people found it, two best friends, and both their wishes came true, for the wish was the same thing, that they could have the greatest treasure of all. One wished for them to be rich, for they thought that the greatest treasure was gold. But they did not wish for gold, they wished to be rich. The other one wished to be rich as well, but only one thought the right thing of what the crystals would give them. Give them something more valuable than gold, more valuable than diamonds, more valuable than treasure. What could it be? Friendship. It would give them friendship. Give them something more valuable than gold or diamonds, more valuable than treasure. Yep, definitely friendship. But that part of the legend they did not know. So Lily and Ava thought the crystals, when you wish to be rich that you would grant, get money or diamonds or even let them take the crystals to sell. (laughs) Lily and Ava wasted no time and set off on their quest through the whispering woods. They travelled over bubbling brooks and over large meadows of green grass. After a while, they reached a giant bog with muddy floors and deep, dark pools of water. There they met three small pixies scampering about and talking in a different language to one another. (laughs) Lily and Ava couldn't understand this language, but then the fairies started talking to them in English. If you want to find the crystals, you better go to the whimsical forest. Head south. You'll find it over the bridge and across the field of... They travelled south, then over the bridge, across the field of flowers. But right in the middle of the field, Ava stopped and fell to the floor. It wasn't that the flowers were sleepy because they never bloomed. The flowers made you sleepy. Lily held her breath. She would not breathe in the pollen, otherwise she'd fall asleep. And then her and Ava would both be trapped in a never-ending sleep. If she breathed in, she would have fallen to the ground. She needed to carry Ava out of this meadow. She grabbed Ava by the hips and carried her gently all the way across the meadow, back over the bridge and back to the bog where the horrible and mischievous pixies were. Once Ava woke up, they both kept on going. They ignored the pixies. While they were passing through the bog and continued on their way, 
Then they reached a forest, like the one they'd been exploring back near their village. But in the forest, something was different, and Ava was going to find out. Like I mentioned at the start of the story, she has a knack for solving mysteries. I love puzzles. Then it hit her. The trees seemed to be talking to each other, whispering secretly. Then she heard one talk to her. Ava, Lily is in great danger. She is she's right behind me, Ava said. Then she realised, while she was solving the puzzle of the talking trees, something had taken Lily. Oh no, this was horrible. She travelled through the hills and under the starlit sky. She journeyed toward the fabled caverns. But the path to the hidden crystal caverns was not without challenges. She encountered a mischievous gnome who challenged her a dance-off. No way. She refused until the gnome said he had Lily. You know I have your friend, right? Yes, yes, you do. Now you know because you will do the dance-off and you will get your friend back. Well, technically you won't because I'll always win. I always do. Finally, she won and Lily and Ava were reunited. After a daring climb up Doom Peak and another few hair-raising moments, Lily and Ava reached the entrance of the hidden crystal caverns. Inside the caverns shimmered with an ethical glow. The crystals, there they were, of all shapes and sizes. Colours sparkled like stars. There was so many more than Lily and Ava thought there would be. Not all of them as beautiful as next, but before they could grab one and make a wish, an evil sorcerer jumped out from behind one of the larger crystals. He said, You shall not pass until you solve my puzzle, but it will require strength and intelligence, and I doubt you have any, for only I have these feats. If you cannot pass, you shall remain trapped inside one of these crystals forever. Luckily, Lily was really strong and could reach up on top of the boulder where the fire flowers were. And Ava was so smart, smart enough to figure out that's where they were. The sorcerer had cast an invisibility spell to guard the two flowers. As Lily grabbed the flowers and brought them down, the sorcerer screamed, No! Someone would solve his challenge, which they just had, He would fade into a dark mist that would disappear into the clouds. There would be no more to him. As they collected the magical crystals, Lily and Ava discovered something even more precious. The true magic lay not in the crystals themselves, but in the bond of their friendship tested and strengthened through their epic journey. Suddenly, a soft glow emanated from all the crystals, turning a bright purple filling the cabin with a warm and comforting light. Lily and Ava realised that their heartfelt wishes had already come true. They had each other, and that was the greatest treasure of all. And so, dear adventurers, as Lily and Ava made their way back home, they carried with them not just the magical crystals, but a heartwarming tale of bravery, friendship, and the power of believing in oneself. That brings us to the end of our adventure today. But remember, girls, the world is full of enchantment and wonder. Embrace every moment, cherish your friendships, and keep the spirit of adventure alive. Bye till next episode.